Well, I told you it would be done, or nearly done, or a bit more is done to it, or whatever you want to say. Um, but yeah, since the last video, I, I painted that front bar, and I put the sensor on, which and kind of blends in, I guess. It's like heat shrunk, and it's just sat there. And the wire runs through the bar, and there's the power switch all wired in. And then on the back, I painted the rear lights and that rear bit of trim. So all the painting's done. I was able to do that on Monday before it started raining. It was kind of perfectly timed, actually. I've done all the wiring, all the marker lights work, reverse and, you know, brake indicators, the number plate lights, they all work. Looks quite nice, actually. I'll put a little clip up of it. Um, I'm not going to miss it in the dark, I'll put it that way. And then I set up the lift axles to work. Now, uh, the rear one works a treat, the front one is a little bit temperamental, but it's one of those things that it takes time for you, for you to figure out what settings you need it. I've got an issue really where I haven't got anywhere here that's big enough and big enough level surface to actually test it on. It's not a good idea to test things like tracking or lift axles on carpet because it's not really a proper solid floor. Um, so I've done my best with what I can, but I'm going to have to take it out to a meeting and just trial and error it really. Um, funny enough, I think the next time I'm actually going anywhere is Devon Truck Show, so you know, what's that saying? Baptism by fire? <laughs> It'd be fine. I've also set the truck and the trailer up on, on this, and uh, this thing is insane. <laughs> it's amazing. I've been watching Hobby Concepts videos uh, using them as a tutorial. It's brilliant, really easy to follow, and um, basically. I can run the entire beer system on one channel, which is pretty in insane, via S-Bus. So, if I just go a very quick demo. Actually, I'll, I'll show you this clip that I filmed the other day. Right, so, hit that switch up. Volume. Got me lights. Got me quick, this thing here, you just pull it. See, look. And if you do this the opposite, backwards, the hazards come on. Uh, I've even forgotten myself. Now that's tag, I think. There we go, that's tag, so that's down. That's right, yeah, because it was the other way around, so I set it so up is actually up. Anyway, that's that. Trailer hitch is on that one. If I show you, it should be closed at the minute. And then if I go like that, opens, closes, opens, closes. Uh, beacons on the button. Got to press it twice to change. Uh, interior light. So if I go, if I turn the engine off, and cycle through my lights, you've got interior light, like that, and for some reason the fog light, the rear lights come on, but it doesn't matter. Uh, and then, what was the other thing? Horn. Which is just push that one up. And then I've got music, so if I do that, it should start. And of course I've got the volume. You can make it quiet, and make it well out. And I've got Jeffro on there now. Oh, the cliffs and the tin mines of Cornwall will haunt me. The grey of the granite, the lure of the sea, the bobbing of... So, basically, I'm going to do set this up on the tea cap because I got... One, two... Three. I got three more receivers for it, two 12 channels and an eight. So it's a funny old deal going on at Express. So I got those three. So that one is going to go in the T cab. That one's going to go in the S. And I don't know where that one's going. I'll leave it for now for a spare. But I need to bring the T cab here and take the receiver that's currently in it out and do a swap and set it up for S bus. And then I'll have the T cab and the four series running on this thing at Devon Truck Show. And I'll have my 
old R series with an MFC in it will be running on my old handset because there's nothing wrong with the MFC on that handset. But on the BA system, it utilises that a hell of a lot more. So, like, I've even got, as I just showed you, I've got the volume on here. It's so cool. Um, but yeah, that thing's done. I, I always thought it was done. And I never finished, you know what I mean? Like, you know, I thought it was done for now. But um, I remembered, because they arrived earlier, I got the tie-down points and the straps. So I've got to put the tie-down points, screw them in. Um, I'm not going to do that quite yet. I need the pallets so I, I can actually put the pallets on and then position exactly where I need to put them. Um, so I'll do that uh, probably. I'll try and get the pallets and tea cab on Friday. So yeah, hopefully over the weekend I can have that sorted. And then I've got a flight case being built for this truck um, trailer that sits on top of my trucks. That one there is where the 4 Series lives. That's Dad's. And then my S is under my desk. But I've got a box being made for the trailer. It's going to sit directly on top of this one. And it's going to house the trailer and the forklift. Which I will bring to Devon. Obviously it won't work, but it'll just be on the back. Uh, and then yeah, that's about it really. I've also got a case being made for my radio because I want one. <laughs> and uh, so hopefully I can get that lot next week. And then I'm away the week after I'm working on site. And then that Friday I'll finish work. I've then got to drive up to Honiton for, for a Devon truck show on the weekend. So hopefully this thing will be all boxed up nicely with its tie down points put on. T cab will be on the new radio. And that's all I really need to do. Also, I'm going to try and put the two trucks on LiPo batteries. I need to look into that a little bit, but I think that it's going to be a better choice because they last a hell of a lot longer. But uh, I'll figure that out. But yeah, that's it. That's the trailer done. It's uh, all working lovely. Looks pretty cool, as you can see. I mean, it's you know, it's a handmade thing. It's not going to be perfect. You can see all the ripples in the metal. <laughs> but uh, hey, it's all right. It does the job. Need to figure out what I'm going to put on there. I've had some suggestions from people. I have got an idea. Funny enough, I actually sent the idea to the artist that painted the truck, the truck's mural, and asked him for a quote. And I was glad I was sitting down when he replied because it was more than what the truck panel was. So don't think that's going to happen. But I sent the same idea to my friend David who makes graphics and he seems to think he can pull it off. So I'll, I'll uh, leave that with him for a minute. See what he can come up with. But I'll leave it blank for now. Um, but yeah, other than that, he's all done. So um, that took not bad for what, say eight weeks, two months. All right, you know. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I'll uh, film another video when I can. It'll probably be Devon Truck Show, honestly. Now will be the next one, be a couple of weeks at least. Uh, and then after that, I'll probably carry on. Well, I need to carry on with the S. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little simple little update on you on it for you just gotta put a tie down points on it and it's done really so yeah anyway thank you for watching and i'll uh i'll see you in the next one cheers